Okay, I'm back. We're about to do a wash. Um, I'm going to be using Genesis Premix um, Warm Blush, but you can achieve this with burnt umber and red and a tiny bit of yellow to make kind of that dusty brownish red color. And then I'm going to add red to it, so it's going to have more red than the um, warm blush and this is going to be wash consistency and the reason I'm doing this is I don't want the orange on there um, the last time I did with um, warm blush and more of the um, burnt umber and it it ruined the baby it made it look orange it was pretty gross so we're definitely going to go a little bit more on the red side so it should look like a toned down cardinal reddish color. I'm going to get a sponge. Oh, I like fell down. Okay, so we're going to get a sponge and we're going to go ahead and get started. And you can see uh, it's leaving paint behind, but there's no little like pigments stuck on there. It's very runny. And yes, I am a bit nervous because the last time I made a poor decision on a wash and it messed up. So hopefully this time it won't be like that. And we need a small brush, flattish brush. I think that one's dry. So we got this baby and we're going to go ahead and get started. Yeah, it looks okay. Woo! Never want to go with orangey base. Orangey babies are not cute. No Simpson characters. Okay. And he's pretty wet. He does have a warm tone to him. Remember the other wash was a caramel, which was very good for yellowy. Hang on a second, I got a dog one. And it's, the caramel color is really good for a yellow golden base. You could use that one for your ethnic babies too, just to give them a bit more of a golden undertone if you want him definitely helps. Okay, so I'm going to be adding nose especially. Get in there. And you'll notice I'm not like shoving it all the way around. I'm just kind of putting it in spots. And the reason I'm doing that is because the brush will continue to pull it across as evenly as possible. Make sure you get all those little creases. You don't want anything pooling in. And this one has little extra creases right there in his eye, unfortunately. Definitely watch out for those. You could also use a mop brush, I think would be alright. If you wanted to pounce that out with a mop brush, those work really good too. And if you're like me, you get stray marks everywhere because I bump into stuff, so double check before you bake. Make sure there's nothing there you don't want there. And for now, I'm just going to do one, and I'm going to bake it and see how I like after that, just because I don't want to mess up like I did the last time. I, I don't have the patience to strip this baby again, so... Do the best we can here. Okay. 
Alright, straight across. A little bit more on the top of his head. Okay. Don't push too hard on your sponge. I know you can't hardly tell. This lighting washes everything out, but he does look good. I love that little finger. He's so cute. This is a very cute mole. It's Elijah by Joanna Kazmarek. And I do want him kind of wet, but I don't... I'm sorry, my dogs. I don't want him so wet that he's pooling everywhere the paint make sure you get into those creases and you spread it as evenly as possible and if my camera goes in and out I'm so sorry I, I don't want it to be focusing in and out that's kind of crazy isn't it I'm sorry guys I don't know how to keep it from doing that can't get that thing to turn off the auto frame once it's on I can't get it to turn back off unless I turn off the camera try to stay in the oh that drives me crazy I'm so sorry We are almost done with his skin tone, guys. Now you're gonna have to hit creases again and make them darker if you need to add darker red to the crease color to deepen it, go right ahead. Okay. So you guys can tell the difference. A little bit. It looks better to me anyway. I've got him heavily modeled. Again, you can't see because the camera doesn't like to pick it up. All the lights seem to wash him out. Also using the flat end to try to spread the paint a little bit. It's not all clumped up in one spot. It's definitely needing more creases. And I'll be working on that for a little bit and then I'll come back and work on his lips and nails some more. And I'll do that on camera. Creases I'm going to do off camera. And you guys just work on them as they need it. Doing pretty good today, keeping up with the painting. Got two babies I'm working on together, so it always takes a little bit longer do two of them. Oh, well, that camera's just crazy, isn't it? Okay. 
one. Get in there. Maeve's in the oven and I'm gonna do her same thing, this reddish color. I'm gonna call it a cardinal red. It's pretty close to that. I was hoping to have all these done, these two babies done before the doll show, but I'm not quite sure. I have a, a class on Wednesday, and that's just a few days away, so honestly, I don't think they'll be done. This is a really pretty color. And I don't have a set like step or specific colors in order or whatever. For each baby they go a little different. Except for this time I'm recording and I'm doing the same on both of them. Maybe in this one. see a difference between the, the original flange and the baby there. Let's see. Oh, that didn't help, did it? Oh, very great lighting, isn't it? Okay. So we still have lips and nails and eyelids plus the creasing and you're gonna we're gonna start blushing too. So blushing is one of my favorite things. It makes the baby a little bit more realistic. So, go ahead and get Maeve's wash and then uh, we'll I'll do some more creasing. I'll probably do two more layers of creasing and then I'll come back and um, do some more of the uh, lips and nails and eyelids on camera. So. Anyway, he's looking good. He's getting there. Okay, thanks guys. <laughs>